I think we did what we thought was best for the organization. Um, I think that we put the organization in a better place today than it was yesterday moving forward and we're comfortable with the decision. There were certain things that happened. I mean, from an offensive production standpoint, there was, you know, minimization of offensive production. You know, there were some plays that could have been made that were not made. And I mean, that's a player thing here. But I think right now in the best situation is what we're attempting to do here now is create the best environment moving forward, not only for the players, uh, but for the, you know, the, the coaching staff as well. And, and that's what our sole focus is on right now is the second half of the 2018 season moving forward and that's that's what we're focused on. Hugh was put in a pretty difficult position his first two years uh, with the talent we had and we felt like he deserved a chance at a third year and unfortunately it didn't work out the way we all hoped it would. I mean, how frustrating or troublesome is it that there's still talk of dysfunction inside the organization at this point in your tenure and when John talks about fixing the environment how do you go about doing that? Well, hopefully we made a big step today. I mean, it's very troubling. Uh, it's hard to win in the NFL. If anybody knows that, it's us. And I think the message today is we're not going to put up with internal discord, um, that we want people who are collaborative and work together. I think we have to do what we think puts the organization and most particularly our players in the best position to win. And accordingly, we made those decisions. I think you know we have made Greg Williams the interim head coach and Freddie Kitchens, the offensive coordinator, and he'll obviously call the plays. How did you guys come to the decision on Greg as the interim head coach? Well, I think um, from, from Greg's standpoint, he has experience as a head coaching position. Um, he is a veteran defensive coordinator um, with a really nice resume. And I think whenever you make decisions like this, I think it's really important uh, for the Browns organization to collaboratively sit there and talk about this and find out who the best in-house can, you know, candidates would be. And that's the decision we came up with. This is not a throwing into the towel. Uh, it's a rebooting, if you will, an opportunity to give them a fresh start for these last eight games. Thank you. Thanks, guys.